bloggers pow well pop a c90 into your stereo let's play some super nintendo racing games this is chaos, Right, so first off, we've got Top Gear 2. Now, um, there are three Top Gear games. Obviously, Top Gear 1, <laughs> Top Gear 2, and, uh, and another one, Top Gear 3000. Um, I haven't played any of them. But as far as I know, they're sort of based on Lotus games. Uh, at least in some, some form. So let's have a, have a look. One up game starts. So. One, raise two player gears. Yeah, we'll stick with automatic control. You might be missing some of the benefits that stereo can provide. Acceleration is that's a really weird place for deceleration, but see that's more more traditional, isn't it? Well, apart from going left and right on the shoulder buttons. Very strange layout. Okay, let's go. Weird. Okay, let's just go with the, old, the basic one, so. Speed. Yeah. Okay, that's a whole lot of random options. I'll play one, yeah, that's me. Now I want to exit this. Race, there we go. So, Australasia, well, Australia then, Auckland, 11, 1.1 uh, miles, five laps, nice, nice weather, 8.30 in the morning. Yes, I'll have an engine. Okay. Okay, so first impressions. This is pretty good. It doesn't move as fast as I was hoping. I was sort of hoping. I mean, as a comparison, uh, Lotus 2 on the Amiga at this point zips around really quite speedily this seems a little bit slow and this is playing at NTSC speed as well rather than PAL speed but so far so good it's not bad is it the cars drawing in the distance do look a bit like sort of flat blue pa pancakes but shout Obscenities to people as you pass them. Oh, I forgot there's a nitro as well, isn't it? We'll have to guard that in a minute when we reach the straight, just in case it goes completely mad with the nitro. From this corner. There we go. Yeah, that's nice and fast with the nitro. That's probably how I'd expect it to be uh, at normal speed, but okay. Nothing really to say about this, it's fairly competent. It's not amazing. It does have things there like a appears to have like a damage gauge there on the car and a uh, fuel gauge as well. So I suppose if you're playing a a longer race you're gonna have to uh, try and get into uh, pits and refuel and stuff. I don't really like that about arcade racing games. My arcade 
arcade racing games fast and not simulation-y at all. I mean, it's like the pits in Virtua Racing and Daytona. It looked good, but there was absolutely no point to whatsoever. Oh, well, we spun out. Here's a night to get us going again. In eighth place. And this is the last lap, and I don't think I'm going to win. I might come a rather poor seventh by the looks of things. Oh no, final lap. Okay. And I'm out of the nitros as well, so if I can keep hold of my fourth position, I might be happy. Definitely out of nitro boosts now, so. There's not much left of the race. There we go. Yeah, it does play a lot like Lotus on the uh, Commodore Amiga. Um, it's not bad, but I think for my money, I'd probably rather be playing Lotus. So next up we have Cats Run. Uh, by Atlas, look quite a late SNES game, 1995. So here we go, mode select. We'll have a street race. Oh, what's that? One way, two ways, one way. Oh, probably multiplayer. Okay, so we'll go single player because just me here. And you pick a little super deformed racing girl. Who should we have? Oh, it's a dude. I think we'll have the default one. Emmy. And you pick a little car. Little super deformed cars. Cappuccino. Works. A beat. These are all little uh, micro cars, aren't they? And wagon R. I'll oh, stick with an AZ1, I suppose. Are you ready? Right, I'm ready. Oh god, that was. And what we got here is is this very very mode seventy sort of racer. Um, obviously. Instantly, you can start thinking about Mario Kart. And those aren't pickups, that's something to spin out on. Right, what other buttons do we have? We have a brake. Oh, it's a little jumpy thing there. I am 10th. What else do we have? Nothing else, I think we've just got an accelerate and a brake, bollocks of things. But that's fine by me. It's really all the racing game really needs. Cute, isn't it? Oh, I had a little cute, cute cars on that. Oh, we spin again. No, um, it's not, there's no lap counter and no map, so I'm guessing this isn't actually. Oh, and it is lap based, okay. I don't think so, anyway. I don't know, do you I really don't know. Get her. Oh crap, I thought I could cut across there. I couldn't. 
Oh, there's a teddy bear on the road. That's um, strange. Now, this is definitely not lap based because I don't remember that water jump being there. Well, it's quite good fun, isn't it? Oh! And we've gone through another stage. Okay, so it is definitely more checkpoint based rather than out and out lap based. And there's a lot of variety here. It's like now racing on a beach, which is pretty cool. Still languishing in last place, but hey ho. Seems to be no indication of uh, a time limit though. There's a time that I've spent racing so far, but not a limit. So I guess you just race until you reach the end? I don't know. The um, AI cars aren't pulling ahead massively, so that's one of those other bugbears in racing games where the AI cars shoot off at the beginning and you never see them again. And some road now. Yeah, I'm liking this. It's a bit unusual, isn't it? Oh, it came to a grinding halt then. Yes, this is a, a, a fun little game, isn't it? Um, oh. Yeah, not one that I think would be that easy to pick up. Um, I don't think I've, I'm playing this on an EverDrive. Um, I really don't think... Um, I've ever seen a, a, an original of this anywhere in my travels, but uh, but maybe well worth um, seeing if you can uh, have a bash on it if you've got yourself an EverDrive or something like that. So yeah, unusual, bit of a weird one. Give it a go. See what you think. Right, so next up, Lamborghini American Challenge. Okay. Italian car manufacturer, American Challenge. You know, fine. It's a global market, I suppose. Now, this is by Titus, Titus, whatever they call the people with the stupid Fox logo. Um, so, I suppose this is going to be based around, from what I've seen, uh, Crazy Cars 3, but with a... Uh, um, uh, Lamborghini license bunged on it. So, oh, we've got a map here. I suppose the yeah, the uh, yellow stars are, are the ones I can click on to race. I suppose, or is it the red ones? No, definitely the yellow ones. Uh, and you can bet some money on I'm not going to bet anything because I really don't know what I'm... Oh, God, no, people are betting for me. Can you match this? No. Stop betting! It's about racing. Oh, I'm going to have to bet something, apparently. Remember, kids, gambling isn't cool. I hit nitro first off because, you know, reasons. Oh, this moves at a fair old race. Wait, um, I was um, expecting this to be pretty slow, but on the other hand, because it's fast, it's also choppy as hell.
music's a bit, isn't it? Yes. Well, again, it could have damaged me to there. And the percentage damage, I presume, is the what's left of the course. 33% done. We only get one nitro boost, I blew that already. I'm in first position somehow, completely lucked out there. That's probably through more good luck than judgment, to be honest. Yeah, again, it's um, competent enough, but I'm going to set the world on fire. That's one thing that always bugged me back in the day. I was, would always wonder how Outrun would have worked on a Super Nintendo. Um, I suppose this and Top Gear 2 are probably the, the closest you'll probably get to it. But uh, at least this is, appears to be uh, stage-based rather than lap-based. And I do prefer my stage-based racers to my lap-based racers. there if I can just get past this stupid green car what a bastard was getting in the way controls were a bit floaty if you wonder why it took me so long to get past that, that green car the controls just feel a bit yes it doesn't feel like you're really connecting with the road I mean Top Gear 2 had that down I didn't notice it at the time when I was playing it, but playing this has made me realise that uh, the control on that was pretty good. So I came first, and uh, yeah, and we won some monies. Well done, us. Yeah, um, not sure I'll go back to that. The controls just feel a bit off, so now I think I'll probably leave that one. Right, this is going to be fun. I've not played this, I've never heard of it. I've picked up the ROM randomly because it was a racing game. This is Dirt Racer by Elite Systems. I'm going to get sued. Ah. <sighs> So this looks like it's a Stunt Race FX ripoff. So, uh, yes, we're going to play it in English. Oh, that font is horrible, isn't it? Enter your name. No. Yeah, okay, continue. Okay, so they're texture mapped. That's pretty impressive for a Super Nintendo, but it, they're moving so slowly. This game's going to be so slow. Yes, and using a special chip. Well done. Wheel spin at the start. And we're off. I don't know what happened there, but it's so slow, it's hard to hard to judge. So this is a game which, look at that, that's got polygon hills and the control is awful by the way, but this is a very, very ambitious game for a Super Nintendo. Very ambitious. See, I could see this quite easily being a first gen PlayStation game design wise. I mean, obviously, graphically, it's nowhere near as course with green shit. Um, nowhere near as uh, polished graphically, but those sort of polygon hills and uh, the text mapping on the car, this is really quite. <laughs> I hate to use it, 
good for Super Nintendo, but it moves so slowly, and now it's sped up, and now I don't know what's going on, and now I'm going to crash into... Oh, God. Right. Let's get moving again, but it's just so slow to play. It's, it's not really playable. The controls are really sluggish. Um, there's no real indication of where I should be going. Is that a checkpoint, or is that a barrier? Who knows? That's a checkpoint. Um... Yes, let's see, there's no way pointing that way. I've actually no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Um, I wonder if there's any views or anything. No. No, there's not. Maybe I'm giving it far too much credit if I think I'm going to have a first person view or a dynamic camera of some description, but it gives you that sense that it is wanting to be more than the sum of its parts. It can. It, I suppose it could be oh god and oh my god I've blown up wow what an unusual game I say I've never heard of it before today just look into my overdriver ROMs and found this and most unusual I wonder if it's actually got a physical release. I wonder if it's something that hasn't been finished and has been leaked out into uh, Romland. Because it moves a lot slower than Stunt Race FX, but it is doing so much more in terms of this texture mapping and polygons. Very, very unusual. I just realised I can't hear much in the way of sound, but then again, I, when I'm recording, I do have the sound coming out of the TV I play this on quite low. I don't even know if there's any sound. Oh god, I just exploded again. That is a really, really strange game. Well, if you've got yourself an Everdrive and you do see this lurking on it, well, give it a go and see what you think. Um, I'd like to know what, what the story was here. Elite Systems weren't known for releasing much in the way of Super Nintendo stuff or anything to be honest beyond the 8-bit era so very unusual there we go game over I only managed to do 49% of that lap well that is a weird one isn't it So there was a few Super Nintendo racing games, there's going to be some I've missed, comment below and tell me which ones I did. Yeah, subscribe or naff off!